Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. We're looking forward to a very exciting discussion. As everyone is logging in and getting comfortable with the GoToWebinar platform, this would actually be a test of your chat functionality and to get familiar with the features here. You'll see on the right-hand panel, you should see two tabs. There's a questions tab and a chat tab. So in either one of those, if you want to go ahead and test it out, it's kind of fun to see where everyone is calling in from today. So go ahead and drop in your location if you feel comfortable with that. And today we're very excited to reintroduce our dynamic partnership with Bamboo HR with the new API integration. We've always offered our patented browser extension integration with Bamboo HR, but now you can experience background screening in Bamboo HR with our new API integration as well. Better yet, you can use both types of integrations, giving you the flexibility and ease of use you need to screen your candidates compliantly and to hire quickly. We'll also explore how Verified First integration on Bamboo's comprehensive platform benefits your organization. Before we dive in, we just have a few quick housekeeping items. This session is being recorded and we'll be sending out a copy of the recording after the webinar. We, with that, we encourage you to share this recording with any team members or colleagues that you feel may benefit from what we'll be discussing today. And also, if you have any questions, we will provide contact information on the last slide so that you can reach out to verify our first any questions. Reminder that there is a Q&A panel. So as we go along, if you have any questions, feel free to jump in and pose those to us by using the question functionality in your panel. We'll try to get to as many of those questions as we can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jenny Johnson, and I'm a senior partner manager here at Verified um, First to manage the Bamboo HR partnership. Oh, getting too fast. Now I'd like to provide some context from Verified First is and what we do. We are a fast-growing tech company on a mission to deliver cutting-edge HR technology that transforms the way organizations protect their people. And we do so in a variety of ways, whether it's through background checks, drug screening, education employment verification, or I-9 verify. We've come together with Bamboo to provide the easiest, most efficient way to be able to effectively screen candidates, often within Bamboo HR's robust platform. When it comes down to that's really what the partnership between Bamboo HR and Verified First does, and we're excited to share that with you today. Oh, I'm going a little too fast. So, with the help of HR technology solutions, vetting candidates is much easier and streamlines the hiring process. However, we recognize that a lot has changed this year, including organizational needs. We'd be interested in hearing from each of you on what technology solutions you're considering replacing within the next three months. I assume some of you will choose background screening, hence why you're here today. But historically, we've noticed that many organizations are investing in their ATS right now, but also trying to find a background screening provider to integrate with to streamline the hiring process. Launch the poll and give it a minute for everyone to respond. We're going to go to the next. Okay. Now that everyone's had a chance to respond, I want to talk about last year. So hiring organizations found sourcing quality talent and onboarding new hires as their top tech stack replacement in 2023. Background screening plays a significant role in both sourcing top quality talent and getting onboarded and giving them the best candidate experience as possible. 
So we decided to work with industry leading analyst, Sonia Lorano, who's co founder from Aptitude Research, which is a third party leading human capital management research and advisory firm, to understand the current and future trends of background screening. According to Aptitude Research, over 50% of companies have a contract with their ATS for three years. Of those, 51% of companies use three or more ATS systems. 66% use three or more sourcing solutions, and 70% use three or more general drawboards, which is why it's so important to be able to integrate the various types of technology you, your organization utilizes. Now, as you can see, one in three companies use more than 10 different recruitment solutions, and using multiple systems can make the hiring and onboarding process more complex, which is why having an integration is crucial to help streamline these processes. Despite only 50% of organizations actually measure, measuring the ROI on their investment, the true challenge revealed in this year's research was the challenge of integration. There are a plethora of hiring platforms out there and having them integrate with your screening solution is key. Now that we've discussed how screening impacts your organization, let's see it in action as we dive into how our integrations with Bamboo HR work. As I shared at the beginning, we are very excited to introduce our new API integration with Bamboo HR in addition to our patented browser extension. Now you're able to experience background screening in Bamboo HR with our new API integration, and better yet, you can use both types of integrations, giving you the flexibility and ease of use you need to screen your candidates. Now I'd like to take this opportunity to show you how the new Bamboo HR first API works through a quick video. Then I will demo our patent advisor extension, but first we're going to look, um, start talking about how we can use the Bamboo HR API in conjunction with the Verify First Browser extension. Give me a minute and I will start the video. Okay, as you can see, I already initiated the background check, but to do that, all you need to do is to click the drop down box to initiate background check. And you can also add notes in the notes section and save any comment as well. Now the status you'll see has changed to waiting on applicant. The candidate will now receive an email um, inviting them to begin their background check. Now we're going to talk through, they're going to go ahead and click that get started to begin. And now we're going to walk through what that candidate workflow looks like. But again, they're going to click get started. First, the candidate's going to sign everything. They're going to have to input their last four digits of their social security number. Now they're going to be presented with the state and city notices. Then the FCRA summary of rights. And then finally, they will be presented with the disclosure regarding the background investigation. And the acknowledgement will be next. The candidate will then input any information that did not come across from Bamboo, such as middle name, social security number, and they'll have to go ahead and input that twice to confirm it's correct, and their date of birth. The address should come across, but it's very simple to add if needed. Um, then from here, they will have the opportunity in one moment to um, make any um, updates if they made any data entry mistakes. Otherwise, they can go ahead and select submit and their background check will begin processing. Now we're going to go back into the portal and we'll be able to see the status updated to file processing and then file, um, report pending, and then report complete once it's been refreshed. So give it a second, get that refreshed. And once everything is updated, there will also be notes showing that the background check was initiated. And once the report has been completed, there will also be a link added in the comment section for you to click on to view the report, or you can view the report right from the browser extension as well by clicking view report. And we'll go ahead and show that. Click view report. It will pull up right within the browser extension. And you can view the candidate's report from there. 
But again, um, the link is also available, as you'll see in the comment section, highlight it right there for you to access to you, um, view the report from there as well. So it's really as simple as that. So uh, let me know at the end if you guys have any questions on how that process works directly through the API. Now I'd like to show you the Verified First Patent Browser Extension Integration. I'm going to escape out of the presentation for a moment and show you first. So with our integration, the browser extension integration is really as simple as downloading um, an app from your browser and foregoing extensive integration setups. All you have to do is go to your web store, either in Chrome, Safari, Firefox, or Edge. You're gonna look up Verified First and select to install the browser extension. Once it's downloaded, you'll now be able to see, and I'll show you this, the screen. And it's logged me out. So give me one moment and log back in. Okay, now we are back in. <laughs> so as I said, um, from here, once you're logged in um, and you've downloaded the browser extension, once you go to hiring, then you can go to candidates. Now I'm going to select candidate, Mr. Hank Mess. You will see the screen with verified first um, option within the Bamboo platform. So we are in with we are in the Bamboo platform right now, and you can just go ahead and place a new order. Then next, you can select the package you want to run. I'm gonna go ahead and select a package. We will do, uh, let's say today we will do the Verified First Preferred package. And this will show you here what products are contained within that package and it gives you the option to to select additional products or deselect a product if you do not want one to run so it gives you the um, flexibility optimization to, to do that um, as you're placing the order as you'll see the information such as the candidate's first name and last name has pre-populated over from bamboo as well as the email and phone number if there's any required fields that didn't come across from Bamboo, you have the opportunity to go ahead and add that information here, such as middle name. If you wanna add any additional cost codes for invoicing purposes, you're able to do that as well. Otherwise, you can go ahead and hit send invite. And if this box pops up, it means that you have run a background check on the current candidate within the last 30 days. You can either run a new background check by clicking this box that you understand and wish to proceed with this order, or you can hit cancel and select to go search for the previous report. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next. And then you also um, can send the invite via email and or text. If you're going to send the invite via text, you want to make sure that you're compliant with the Telecomer um, Protection Act, meaning that you have the candidate permission to send text messages. Um, you can include verbiage in the application or as part of the offer letter. Um, for this example, I will send it via email, and I'm going to hit next. Oh, I'm sorry. And here, um, one step ahead. So this is letting you know um, there's two options away when you're sending the invite to the candidate. You can have, as soon as the candidate provides all the required information and signs of disclosure and authorization forms as we walk through um, via the candidate workflow process, um, you, the background check can begin processing immediately or you have the option to review the candidate's information before the background check actually begins to process to make sure the candidate put everything as you expect it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And again, this is where you have the option to send either via email and or text. Again, you wanna make sure you have a number in there as well, a cell phone number in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and send this one via email today. And I'm actually going to update the email to my I can okay now I'm going to go ahead and hit next and here this is um, showing that you have permissible purpose to initiate the background check meaning that you're running this for employment purposes 
you're going to go ahead and hit send. And now you're going to have the option um, to resend or withdraw the invite if needed. Um, otherwise, the invite now is going to be sent to the candidate. As you'll see, it says waiting on applicant. Um, they will get that invitation asking them to go ahead and complete their background check, sign the applicable disclosure and authorization forms and acknowledgements. Um, so I'm not going to walk through the entire candidate workflow again since we did so um, in the API video, but wanted to show you what that looked like. Now I'm going to go back real quick to our presentation. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. Now that we've talked about the integration and seen how it works, I just wanted to share a little bit more about some of the benefits and differentiators of Verified First. Um, our integration, again, there's no integration fees. We integrate with over 130 plus HR solutions. Our compliance, um, we have built-in compliance tools such as pre and adverse action notices. Um, we are accredited by the Professional Background Screening Association. On um, the ease of use, the candidate status updates throughout the process. We have the customizable packages and a la carte ordering. Um, again, those text capabilities are key to help improve the overall turnaround time. And I can't say enough about our extremely responsive client support team as well. Okay. Um, now, if you, um, you want to discuss how you can make your organization safe with Verified First Top of the Line Screening and Verification Services, you can find our contact information as I shared on this slide. Um, if we haven't answered all of your questions today, please feel free to reach out. Um, for those of you online today, we will try to answer any questions you still might have um, and as we jump into our Q&A session. But if you have any questions about what we discussed today, um, now is a great time to drop those questions in the chat area. I see a few questions popped up. So one, um, what does pricing look like? So pricing is customized to your organization. Um, we have over 100 different, 100 plus different products and services, and our pricing is extremely competitive with being the fastest growing background screening company in the U.S. right now. Um, and again, the integration is 100% free, so you would only be invoiced monthly for any requests submitted um, that previous month. But we're happy to provide, you know, customized pricing proposal based on your needs. If you, you know, you can definitely reach out after this presentation, we'll be happy to provide that information. Um, in terms of um, another question about what does implementation look like? So our implementation team will take the time to discuss, you know, what packages are needed, which users need access, what type of access they may need. They're going to walk you through the platform, do all the necessary training until you're comfortable with that. And in terms of um, getting the integration set up, it takes roughly about three to five days for our team to build out your account. Um, and then it will depend on your availability for training um, as to how quickly you, know, you can be up and running. Um, let's see, a question about how, does back, back, how long does background check take? So this, um, there's a couple different answers here. So the industry average for background check um, is about two to five business days. Uh, depending on you know services and are requested, um, verified first. Our overall average turnaround time is only approximately about 24.5 hours. Of course, again, it does depend on the products and services you're running. Um, for example, the current turnaround time for crim um, a kind of criminal search is 33.7 hours. Um, in terms of verifications, verified first has an almost 95%. I think it's 94.5 to be exact success rate for verifications, which is almost unheard of in the industry. I think I've answered most questions. If we didn't get to your question, um, we can definitely follow up with after the presentation as well. Um, did want to thank everybody for attending today. And before everyone hops off, um, we please ask you stick around for a brief, brief post webinar survey. Um, that will pop up as soon as the discussion ends um, so we can gather your feedback for today's presentation. If you indicate you'd like to learn more about Verified First, and we will have one of our background screening experts reach out to you to discuss your organization's needs. 
Um, and we look forward to hearing from you and we hope you have a great rest of the day and we so appreciate your time and for joining us today. So thank you everybody.